welcome in to another woolly review something bright and colorful as sprinkles pop chunky by signet which is a hundred gram ball and this is in the color lavender honey not that i'm judging the color um but you know this is just one of 10 colors that they do um on here is I saw it a moment ago. It's 100% acrylic with approximately 160 meters on it. Now, I can only do a small swatch for this because this was a, a prize for Woolly Wednesday. And by the time that you see this, this will be on the way to the winner if they don't already have it. So let's put the ladybirds out of the way. There's no stretch on there. It's very much like cotton regarding the stretch thing. But let's see what it's going to do. Oh, let's do chain one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Oops. Oops. Now I'm expecting this to split a fair bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I'll show you why. That's why I'm expecting it to split a fair bit because it's only very, very loosely twisted together. But we'll see. So the first row that I'm gonna do is just a row of single crochets. Now the cheapest place I found this was on a site called Claire's Wool and Wares. Wares as in home wares, not, oh, she wears that jacket so well. This is going to split. I knew it would. No, it doesn't want to go in there. <sighs> I'm going to have to cheat because I have no choice. Um, yeah, and on that site, um, a ball of this is £2.89. Like I said, that's the cheapest I could find. And depending on where you go, of course, there's approximately 10 different colours of this to go looking for. They're all, of course, very similar with the way the colours are in the skein. You know, they're very quick, they're very sporadic, and now I'm going to chain two because I'm going to do half double crochets. It feels okay in the hands, I must say. Certainly not rough. I'm not doing double crochets at all, I'm doing half double crochets. Um, certainly not rough. I think I could quite happily sit there and work with this, you know, for a, for a good amount of time, I think. It's not bad. Although I'm getting cramp, that's not down to the well, the other good thing is it's not squeaking. I tend to get that a lot with 100% acrylic. It gets a good old squeak. Of course, because of the colour definition and the way it, it it's um, working out, you're not going to see your stitches very well. So... As the the rule of thumb states, really, if you've got a variegated wool, don't use fancy stitches. Use something nice and plain and simple because otherwise your fancy stitches aren't going to be seen. 
It's as simple as that. So, oop, yeah, let's just throw everything everywhere, Lisa. Why not? Okay. Okay, I've got one more to go in and then we'll see what we're left with. Yeah, this is going to, if you're a tight crocheter, I think you, you're going to struggle with this because I think it'll just constantly be splitting on you. So this type of wool colour wise, not just the actual colour, but the way the colour is, isn't my personal kind of thing. But I know there's a lot of people out there where it is, but I'd be very, very happy with that. Softness wise, there is a thing on the band that shows you how it's supposed to work up. But it's not bad okay so let's take the the frog for a stroll shall we i mean i'm not expecting any issues but you never know and he just jumped on the moped so see you later mr frog very little kinkage i mean there is some there yes but very little so that's as expected. So let's just put his belt back on so that he's nicely dressed. Okay. Let's have a think. Well, let's just skip the first two straight off because it's nice and soft price wise i mean what's 160 160 for chunky if it was probably 250 then you know yeah okay the fact that it's bordering on three for me who is like really really careful with what i'm buying and you know, it's, there's nothing overly special about it that makes me go, yes, let's go. I'll pay £3.50 for that. No. Um, I mean, I'm going to go with it. It'll probably be in my top 10. Not for the colour, again. But, you know, softness-wise, it feels really, really nice on the skin. I mean, it's really, really soft. Um the colour is a bit, you know, a little bit. Anywho, would it be my top five? Honestly, no, I think I'm going to do a three and a half and that's purely because all the colours are similar. There's no solid colours. Um, it is pretty sporadic. It's quite loosely twisted, um, which can be... A little bit problematic um, and the price is a little bit steep for my liking you know I like to get a good bargain and that definitely isn't one I think yeah like I said if, if it was 250 somewhere and they did have a solid color then you know maybe I would probably go to a full four but I'm not going to go to a full four I'm going to go to a three because Signet Sprinkles Pop gets my three and a half that's what it's getting so have you given it a go have you tried it would you if you would if you did let me know down below and down there is the subscribe button which is completely free to do and it really helps the channel 
if you give a thumbs up woo, 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 woo. that'd be awesome thank you so much hopefully i will see you again next week for another woolly review until then take care bye bye